last night, I did not spend the night in this hotel room. <laughs> Which is inside this hotel in Eureka, California. This is the inside of the hotel room. <gasps> this is my room! It smells like a smart room. Yeah! This is and totally this my room. is the bathroom. Look! Wow, it's a whole Whoa, thing. look at that toy one! Mommy, you got poop in it. It's a cockroach. Kill it! Okay, kill it, please, now. Kill it! Before it gets away. <laughs> We're checking out some seeds that my friend got for free. <laughs> he has some vegetable seeds, some flower seeds, seeds for various different herbs. I see radishes parsley, peppers, coleus, it's like a decorative plant that I think doesn't flower. Is that the thing that people give each other on Christmas? No, those are poinsettias. Oh. <laughs> Cow peas, a vegetable. I am now going to clean my cat's litter boxes, which is why I am wearing gloves, pink gloves. Can you see me? I'm sitting here in a chair. There's the chair next to my bed, which, as you can see, does not have a mattress cover on it or bed sheets. Here are the bed sheets. The mattress cover is washing in the laundry machine. And I will say something about why this is going on in a second, but this is delaying our other emergency because after my bed sheets wash in the laundry machine we are then going to have to turn the water off to my house because there is a leak in the main line again in another place and it might take up to three days to fix so i have rented a hotel room which because i have a coupon actually only cost $33 for three days. It's one of the cheapest hotels in Eureka and it says that they allow pets. Which brings me to my other emergency. I noticed that my cats have fleas again. They desperately all need baths and with the water imminently about to be turned off to my house, I will not be able to bathe them here. So I will be bringing my cats to the hotel if the hotel will allow it, and bathing them all at the hotel. We might not be sleeping at the hotel, but we are going to be going there to shower and go to the bathroom and bathe the cats as well. So I'm about to leave to go to this hotel, but I'm having another problem. I'm sweating very heavily and I'm drinking some tea right now which is not the reason that I'm sweating. I'm drinking the tea because I believe I'm becoming dangerously dehydrated due to an unexplained health problem that I may have caused. And by caused, I don't mean that I did something to make myself sick. I may have inadvertently caused something I may have been sick from for a very long time to make me sicker. This story will horrify any doctor or anyone in the medical profession who hears it because they will immediately know what horrible diseases I could have that could have caused these symptoms. I've had a swollen lymph node in my neck right here, kind of between my neck and my shoulder actually, for about 15 years or so. And I've shown it to like five different doctors who didn't seem concerned. So recently I watched a video on how to do a massage that would drain swollen lymph nodes and 
that was about two weeks ago. So I massaged this lymph node trying to drain it. And it was swollen to about the size of about a half inch lump. And after I massaged it, it mostly went away. There's a tiny little lump there now that I can feel with my finger, but it's like two millimeters wide. Nothing like the giant lump that has been slowly growing for the last 15 years. So I thought that I had done a really great thing by draining this small lymph node, and then I started sweating heavily. And progressively over the course of the last two weeks or so, this sweating problem has gotten worse and worse, especially at night. I'm waking up pouring sweat at night. I'm waking up pouring sweat numerous times at night and changing my clothes numerous times at night and sometimes having to change my bed sheets as well. So after doing some research on the internet, I found that there's a possibility that it could have been an infection or even cancer that I spread throughout my body by draining the lymph node, which is something that I did know was a possibility, but they didn't say anything about in the video I watched about how to drain people's lymph nodes and people were talking about how they'd had lymph nodes swollen for years and once they drained them they felt so much better and had so much more energy so I thought it was a great idea and didn't consider the risk it could have been an infection or cancer or something that I should not have been massaging throughout my body. So I am going to have to go to a doctor, obviously. <laughs> After two weeks of it getting worse and not better, I am probably going to go to the hospital very soon because I haven't actually been able to find a doctor in Humboldt County that I can see as like a general care practitioner. So I don't have a general care practitioner I can go to to get a referral to a specialist. So my only option will be to go to the emergency room, which even though I have insurance will still cause me to get a huge bill. I would very much like to go to the emergency room somewhere else other than Humboldt County, California. In fact, I have been to all of the major hospitals in Humboldt County, California, and I think that they're all horrible, and most of the doctors and medical staff are incompetent. The hospitals are dirty, and you're very likely to get misdiagnosed or made sicker. And if you look like me, somebody with dreadlocks, you're very likely to get discriminated against as well. Anyway, with all of that said, I am now going to go, not to the hospital, but to my hotel. I was about to leave and my boyfriend brought me this. It's a cherry smoothie with whipped cream. <laughs> After a not so brief stop at Walmart where I purchased these items, I am now headed to my hotel. I am back from the hotel and I did not get a video of the inside of the room. Thank you, because something froze up on my phone. It is very unfortunate that I did not get a video because of what was happening when I got to the hotel. A 62-year-old lady who appeared to be on meth was begging the police to take her to the mental hospital because she said she had a broken foot. Are you okay? The light's still on on my phone. What happened at the hotel? The lady said, and I'm going to try to imitate her voice, I'm 62 years old and my foot is broken and I've got bags and bags of stuff. Please take me to Semper Virens, to the Eureka police officers. Semper Virens is the Eureka Mental Hospital. And the police were loading like huge trash bags that were ripping open full of her clothing into two police SUVs and apparently taking her somewhere, possibly the mental hospital, as I was checking into the hotel. We are in the Wendy's drive through about to go to our hotel room. Get a video of the children in the back seat. 
Cheese. I can't see anything. I'm sorry. There it is. This is how you get in. That's such an odd entrance. There is the hotel oh, is that, that I exit? have rented that, a room at. That, it's that the exit hotel. and the entrance. It's to the left. It's the room right there on the left. Right here? Okay. Yes. Whoa! Did I take my shoes off? Sure. Okay. This is the inside of the hotel room. This is my room! It smells like a smoking room. Yeah! This is and totally this my room. is the bathroom Whoa. where Whoa. I took a shower earlier. I brought the pink non latex gloves and cleaning wipes. Whoa. All the other items were Whoa. already here. It's not very big. It's not very big, but the bathroom is very big. Whoa, Whoa look at that toy one, Mommy, you got poop in it. And this is the lamp they brought me because there was a lamp in here, but the cord doesn't reach any outlet. This is my room. And we're in a few rooms. And this is what Wendy's gave me as a gluten-free burger. Look, I have a picture! Now that my children have eaten most of their food, and my boyfriend has left to go buy a beer, we are going to check out some of the interesting features of this hotel room. Like the doorknob or lap thereof. And the lamp I was, I was trying to turn it on. that cannot be plugged in because the cord doesn't reach any outlet. You know what? I'm going to take off my socks. The ceiling. Whoa. I got another picture. And the ceiling in the bathroom. I am looking up there. Look, a white! Well, what happened to a doorknob? I don't know, Eugene. Oh, then there's a crack. Uh, does it work? Huh? It don't work! What's, what the rip off? <laughs> yeah, what a rip off. Yeah. Eugene said that at the appropriate time. Well, it's new to us. It has new floors. Mommy, look! Mommy, look! I have a garbage can! Awesome! Oh, look, Mommy! I put another wow! Yeah, but that one can't be plugged in. Oh. Hey, well, without an extension cord. I love this phone. Look, awesome. At least Eugene likes this what? room. What's that? What's that? What's that? That's the annoying flashing light that never stops flashing. Ah! The windows are locked with window locks. See that? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can see a muddy. And under the table, there are Turn up. sideways outlets. And behind the TV, there is a sideways outlet that appears to be cracked uh, turned up and very door. dirty. It's a cockroach. Kill it! Okay, kill it, please, now. Kill it! Before it gets away. <laughs> I have a specific smell. I know. All right. Yeah. We saw a, a baby German cockroach. Hey, yes. Wendy! Ew, I hope they didn't get into my dirty laundry that I left here on the floor for a few hours. Now I'm afraid to bring it back into my house. And I'm afraid to bring my cats here and bathe here. can't ever kill cockroaches. Here. It looked like I killed that one, but it's probably still alive somewhere. I was going to bring my cats here and bathe them here in this rain I shower with a hose, but I'd be afraid that a cockroach would get on my cats and they'd bring them back into my house. <laughs> 
Well, if they're just crawling up the walls like that, they gotta be like everywhere. Like if you move this furniture, move this. Oh, that would be terrible. I hope my cockroach didn't get into any of our stuff. My cat food. Oh, yuck. I'm not bringing any of this stuff back into our house. Not even my computer case. Oh, what? I'll take the computer out and brush the case off or something. I don't want to bring cockroaches into our house. They're really hard to get rid of, especially in California where most of the chemicals are illegal. What's what's that windows That they use to kill them in other states. Access to those chemicals and can and they just don't exist. Yuck. Turn it up. Yeah, turn the music back on. I'm shaking them to make sure there's not cockroaches in them before I put them back in the car. Shake it harder. After I smoke this, to calm myself down from the cockroach-induced panic attack, <laughs> I'm going to show you another interesting feature of this hotel, or I'm actually sorry. an interesting lack of an advertised feature. The pool, which is closed indefinitely, as you can see. Of course, on Hotels.com, this was described as a hotel with a pool. And while they didn't say that there were not cockroaches, of course, we did not expect there to be cockroaches. Look, Adrian, they painted over tile. Oh, wow. This was actually a really nice they tile painted job. painted over tile. This is a beautiful tile job, and they painted over it. I wonder what color it was originally. No, it's a absolutely perfect tile job. And look what's underneath here on the wall. No, Adrian, this is literally a perfect tile job. Like, look at this. I bet this that's where the cockroaches are coming in. This is not a perfect tile job. I think they threw down Stop. new floors over the old floors. What's wrong, Evelyn? Look at this wall. This is not drywall. They painted over brick. Like you, you tap that, that hurts. Wow, it is brick. I don't really want to touch it because cockroaches might have been crawling on it. Ooh, you just knocked on the cockroach wall. That's where we've seen two cockroaches. Yeah, but the cockroach. That's drywall. Ow, that, that's brick. Okay. Wow, it is. <laughs> Actually, it's not brick, it's block. I'm sorry. That is not brick. Quite concrete blocks? Yes. Then they paint it over it and put some kind of texture. It's blocks like really Yeah, big weird wall texture. Blocks. I'm gonna wash my hands. Wash your hands too. There's that concrete block on the outside of the building. It works. How much did you pay for this room anyway? Well, it was supposed to be $240 for three days, but I had a $207 coupon. So it was like $33. I'm still going to request the whole $240 back. Is tomorrow the third day? No. Tomorrow is the second day. Okay. Now that the light is on, you can really see this corner of this room. Look at this. Filth all over the walls. Cords strung everywhere. This alarm was ringing when we came in the room. More cords. And what is that? I thought it was a piece of artwork, but I think somebody did it with tape. I was gonna set up my laptop. My boyfriend is having the same problem I had opening the soap. I'm afraid to set up my laptop in this dirty hotel, but let's see what happens when I wipe the stain off the wall. Ew, yuck, I think that one was a blood stain. It's coming off. Let's just hold on cleaning wipe. 
I could have cleaned that off easily. I'm not going to clean it the rest of the way. I think I proved it is cleanable by wiping it part way. Are you people hearing what is going on in the background behind me? This is going to be my funniest hotel video ever. Look at that. Nasty. So nasty. Look at that. Dude, Adrian, she's trying to like clean the drain out. There's like long hippie hairs in there. Ew. Ew. As I was saying, look at that filth on that one cleaning wipe. That was just from the phone and that one little ah, spot on the right wall. It. I didn't even find right any of that filth I'm right there. Right May I break it? I thought there was a cockroach on our clothes, but it's a fly. Hey, it's so out of the bathtub. It's infested with multiple bugs. Okay, one second. Evelyn is now out of the bath. Look at her cute outfit. She has one pirate sock and one blue sock. For some reason, a lot of her socks have gone missing. All of the towels, by the way, are folded up with a dirty stain on the inside. Like every single one, if you unfold it, is likely to have a stain on the inside. See that? That one has a stain on the inside. And there is someone else's hair. I thought I saw a cockroach on the blanket seconds after I filmed that video. Everyone's upset. She liked crawling on the blanket and she was upset when it went away. Oh my goodness. Uh, I, uh, hard on, uh, real, uh, hard, and then a uh, schlong. He's saying, uh, instead of the actual words, of course, because our children are in here. Honey? Honey, see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Only a terrible hotel would have that. Only a terrible hotel would have that. It's like 1.30 in the morning, and I'm starting to pour sweat heavily. It seems to happen between 1 or 2 and 5 or 6 in the morning, whether I'm asleep or awake. I just suddenly started pouring sweat. Do you have malaria or something? It's very unlikely that I have malaria. But I definitely have something wrong with me, obviously. We were going to try to move one of the paintings to see if cockroaches ran out from behind it. But as you can see, they are screwed onto the walls. Probably but, covering holes in the walls. But check it out, the TV is not. Since it is now almost two in the morning, we are preparing to leave the hotel room for the night. The original plan was for my boyfriend and Eugene to spend the night here. They will not be spending the night in the Cockroach Hotel. I am taking a video of the inside of the room to prove that we didn't trash it, but I will very likely be coming back here to take a shower in the morning because while the water is turned back on to my house, the hot water is still turned off. <coughs> Don't cry, everyone. I know it's past your bedtime and your bottle is empty. There appears to be a drunk driver in front of us. I thought that was a cop, but it wasn't.
It is 1.59 in the morning, and we are back at my house. Evelyn is crawling on Eugene's potato chip covered bed, and Eugene is playing Nintendo. What video game are you playing now? The sun is shining. Um, the sun is not shining. It is 1.59, now probably 2 in the morning. He is playing that game, not that game, but he's playing that game down there. But that game down there. What is it? I can't Jet see. Force Gemini. I'm now in my bedroom, laying down with a bed sheet and a very thin blanket instead of my thick blanket and some extra pants, a few shirts, and a pillowcase in case I start to pour sweat again. I already feel like I'm starting to pour sweat again. I have my tea as well, so I can stay hydrated at night. And I know I will be able to get my money back from Hotels.com because the way I got the coupon that I used to pay for that hotel was complaining about another hotel we stayed in about a year ago. Which is why I had to use that coupon by sometime in the middle of this month because it was almost about a year ago when I complained to them the last time. Anyway, um, I have changed my clothes as you can see because I'm terrified of bringing cockroaches into my house. One of my earliest memories from when I was a child was a cockroach flying on my face while I was laying in my bed, which was in the apartment that I grew up in in Jersey City, New Jersey, which was cool because we could see the Twin Towers and the Statue of Liberty, but not cool because there were cockroaches in it. Anyway, since it's now past three in the morning, I am going to sleep. Good night. And if I do get cockroaches in my house, I'm totally going to sue that hotel. I'm at Humboldt Spay and Neuter Clinic in Eureka, petting one of their cats. And look what they did. They built a little outdoor area outside of their window. It's like a bay window for the cats. Isn't that nice? Look at that. I love it. These are some of their cats, which may be up for adoption. This one is very nervous. <laughs> he rubbed on me for one second. These are apparently the names of the cats that I was petting. Hey. I cleaned my cat's litter boxes right before coming over here, and these cats are having quite the reaction to the smell of my shoes. See, they have cat poop on them, I think. And cats. Wow, this one's like climbing me. Smelling me intensely. <laughs> Smelling my shoes. <laughs> you have beautiful blue eyes. I am back at the hotel. They did clean the room, as you can see, but they did not throw away our leftover drink. And it appears they left food all over the floor as well. There's our little pieces of hamburger that Eugene and Evelyn dropped on the floor, still all over the floor of the hotel room we saw cockroaches in. There are dead cockroaches in it. Gross. Look at that. Ew. Be careful where you leave your backpack, like in the middle of the table, not touching the wall. 
I wouldn't put it on the chair either. They like cloth more than solid wood. Like they could be burrowed down into these cracks, yeah. but they're not going to be like on this surface in the light with us in here. I found a vacuum out there, so I'm vacuuming the hotel room myself. This vacuum works really well, but the power cord is frayed. See, it's frayed right there, and you can see where they've used electrical tape numerous times to repair it. Try not to touch the frayed part barehanded, but see that? It works really well, though. And remember the stains on the walls that I showed could be easily cleaned? Look, they're still there. Honestly, people, I wasn't even going to come back to this hotel room at all, but my boyfriend had set up an improvised shower in my yard, but I didn't want to shower there because you have to wear a bathing suit so the neighbors don't see you naked, and I wanted to shower really well, and I also actually just wanted to see if they had even cleaned this room, and if they had cleaned it, how well they had cleaned it. I'm glad I got to see the condition the room was in and stuff. Anyway, I am now going to end this video, and because my phone is about to die, I'm going to end with the ending I recorded last night when I wasn't sure if I was going to come back here or not. Please like this video, share this video, watch my other videos, and subscribe to my channel. Good night.